everyone, uh, Nisa Coy here with Firehouse Education and um, I actually am driving right now um, to a, a fire job. So you're gonna get just the side view of me. I'm not really gonna look at you when I'm talking but I really wanted to have a conversation with you guys and I have my amazing camera girl, Emily, who's recording for me so that I can drive and be safe. Um, but I wanted to uh, talk to you guys on the way to this job because we've got um, a really um, uh, unique situation here where I don't come across this type of uh, loss very often or the circumstance. Now I haven't seen the job personally. Um, we were given this job by a subcontractor that uses us to do all their content restoration and so um, it's about two hours from our home base so we are bringing the mobile unit which Emily if you want to show out front of us here I'm following the unit right now and uh, Kevin and Travis are there and so um, what what the situation is is that this fire uh, happened in their garage and the garage is attached and I guess the majority the garage is pretty much total and the majority of the damage was in the garage and yet the kitchens black laundry rooms black uh, those couple of rooms that were right next to the garage are really badly damaged and yet the rest of the house has a lot of odor and light soot but almost appears to be by the pictures that I was shown a clean in place so kind of interesting I don't like I said I've only come across this a couple of times where it looks like we have a full-on pack out clean of some of the area of the home and the other area of the home might actually be a clean in place so what I want to do is I'm going to use this job to do several videos and do a series to kind of walk you guys through and give you a feel for how a job like this would flow and why I would do certain things the way I would do them on the job so I know that I have gotten several of you asking me questions about that and, and how a job flows and pulling it all together so I thought this would be a really good opportunity to you know do this for you guys so um, definitely please comment as I post the videos let me know what you like um, that, that, I'm, that I'm showing you let me know what you would like to see more of and please ask me questions so that I can be sure and address them for you and answer them um, this is you know again a situation where the family's out of their home and we, they've lived there for many many years and we are just all about you know wanting to get there and, and see how quickly we can get this job done and get it back in their place I'm estimating at this point and again I haven't physically been there to see it so I'll be able to tell you more once I get there in about an hour however I'm, I'm kind of guesstimating that we're gonna be about five days on this job it's a little bit bigger a job since I've got a partial pack out so like I said I'll do several videos I'm gonna run through this series so if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel please do at Firehouse Education on YouTube um, because I, I don't want you to miss any of these because I think they're gonna be a pretty valuable series to hopefully help you guys get a real feel for the flow of a job so thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you as soon as I get there